Now let's turn to Angela Wu for the latest corporate news impacting China. Hello, Angela. Hello, Chini. Topping this week's corporate news, the Shanghai Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, says the public need not panic over recent reports of the carcinogen benzene found in soft drinks in Britain. Major international distributors Coca-Cola and Pepsi say their Fanta and Mirinda soft drinks are safe and comply with national standards. Scientists say benzene can be formed in soft drinks when vitamin C reacts with the antibacterial additives. However, the FDA says the amount of benzene consumed in a drink would be only a percentage or two of what the average person would breathe in a day. Shifting to the banking sector, and Guangdong Development Bank says it will waive charges on lost credit cards for up to 48 hours until cardholders report their card loss to the bank. The bank says the new procedure is built into its bad debt management mechanism. Last year, their credit card business reported the lowest bad debt ratio in the industry at 1.92 percent. Guangdong Development Bank is also China's first lender to report a profit from credit cards after breaking even in 2004. The bank has issued 2.8 million cards to a total market of more than 10 million cardholders in China. The credit card market is currently doubling every year. Turning to the auto sector, U.S.-based Tenneco, the world's leading car emission control equipment maker, announced it will invest 51 million U.S. dollars over the next three years in both manufacturing and engineering facilities. The investment includes a wholly owned elastomer manufacturing facility in Suzhou and a joint venture emission control engineering center with Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation. Tenneco is now China's number one exhaust supplier with five major joint ventures across the country. China's light. Vehicle system production is now estimated to grow 7% every year from 2006 to 2010. From autos to architecture, more overseas architects are tapping into China's market by joining forces. French-based real estate developer and design firm AOS has signed a cooperative agreement with Charpentier Architecture Design Consulting Firm in Shanghai to jointly explore the corporate real estate sector. The cooperation will market services to the growing number of companies opening up R&D centers. They'll be introducing eco-friendly building solutions, which raise initial construction costs but pay off in cheaper operating expenses. 750 foreign-funded R&D centers have been set up in China, mainly located in such large cities as Shanghai, Beijing, and Shenzhen. Finally, turning to the cosmetics industry, pharmacies are becoming the targets for high-end cosmetic sales. After initial trials indicated large revenue margins, Kanebo, a Japanese cosmetic giant, announced its greater commitment to pharmacy sales. Kanebo has introduced products to four local pharmacies and plans to stock 400 nationwide by 2009. In the city's 2,000 drugstores, cosmetic sales hit 90 million yuan a year, 2% of the total industry. However, in Japan, the ratio is almost one quarter. Industry insiders see a nationwide annual market potential of 800 million yuan for pharmacy-based cosmetic sales. That's all we have time for this week from the corporate circle. I'm Angela Wu. Back to you, Chini. Thanks. That was Angela Wu updating us on the latest corporate news in China.